I'm working with Antonio. I'm working with the team. I'm working with the league, the union, everybody you can think of to get this hammered out. Can, can I ask you quickly also, Drew, about his feet? We, we were aware of the issue that he had with the feet, with the cryotherapy uh, problem that he had. Where is he right now with his feet? Is he prepared to play right now relative to his feet? I'm not sure. Um, I think that that is still an issue, but we're close. I think he's very close. I don't expect it to be a long-term issue. Uh, I think he'll be healthy in the foreseeable future. Okay, and then a final question, and I appreciate you doing this. If there is no resolution that he is satisfied with relative to the helmet, and he is in a position where he has to wear a helmet that perhaps he is not comfortable with, what happens then? Well, I think, in my opinion, I, I'm confident we're going to find a solution out. Uh, whether it's a different helmet, whether it's the same helmet, we're going to find a solution here, Mike. There's really no if. So, so um, ultimately, it's going to be Antonio's decision, but I know that he wants to play football. He wants to be a part of the Raiders. We're just trying to work it out so that he's got the right equipment and then he can feel safe. I, I get it. So if we could just sort of wrap it up with this. The, the Raiders open their season three weeks from tonight against Denver on ESPN's Monday Night Football. Are, are you prepared to guarantee he will be on the field that night? Is there any question that he will be on the field that night? I don't see any reason why he wouldn't be. I believe we're going to get this worked out in time for him to be there. I don't make True. guarantees, Mike. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> We've been having these conversations a long time. I'm not time. Joe True. Namath. Give Joe <laughs> Namath the call. I got you. Thank you very much, Drew. I appreciate the time. Thank you for this, and we will check in again as this, if this thing takes another turn. Thank you very much for taking the moment Thank for us much. here. Drew Rosenhaus, again, the agent for Antonio Brown. Let me bring it out to the table here. Dan Graziano, I was sort of looking over at you at one point and, 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 and confirming that we had gotten sort of everything that we needed there. What did you take away from that conversation? Well, I think the phrase he repeated more than once, I don't expect this to be a long-term issue. He's trying to make sure that people know that, you know, that, that A, they're optimistic about finding a solution, and obviously... You know, Antonio and, and Drew are not in a position where they want to look like they're the ones, you know, causing the problems. Right. So, so I think that's uh, it's 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 optimism, but it's and and there's some messaging to it, which is fine. That that's part of the job. But I, I think it's like we talked about with Ezekiel Elliott. The most likely outcome here is that he finds a helmet that he can wear and, and he plays football. I mean, you're, you're talking about like $30 million in guaranteed money that he'd be leaving on the table if he were to walk away. So I don't think that's a legitimate fear, and I think that Drew was communicating that. Oh, I'm being told right now, actually, that Marcus is back with us here. Do I have Marcus Spears? Uh, Marcus, oh, there he is. All right, Swagoo, I have you back here. Did you hear that? What was your takeaway from that conversation? Uh, Drew is doing a great job at his job, speaking for Antonio Brown. But, G, you know me. I just can't, I can't take the beat around the bush type of situation. Look, man. We're going to exhaust every opportunity. We've been working on this for six months, and you ain't found a helmet yet? I mean, if I'm sitting at home on my sofa and I'm watching Get Up right now, and I watch Drew Rosenhaus say that about Antonio Brown, and this process has been going on this long, and you haven't found a helmet yet, then throw out, well, we, we, we'll see if we can get him a custom-made helmet. All this tells me is that A.B. is taking a break from training camp, and he's going to be there for week one. Like, we're we talking about a football helmet, and I get it. He's been wearing this since childhood and all of that. I, I don't know of any player that's been wearing the same helmet since Pee Wee football, the fact that your head gets two times bigger by the time you get to the NFL. <laughs> so that didn't make sense to me. But with that being <laughs> said, man, Antonio Brown is taking time off from training camp. Obviously, he had to deal with the frostbite on his foot. He wants to be there for week one, and he ain't leaving $30 million on the table. Every – conversation we've seen A.B. talk, he's talked about how much money he has. He don't need the NFL, but $30 million will remain $30 million. And when A.B. returns for week one of the NFL season, the helmet won't be an issue and he'll be one of the best wide receivers on the field. But, I mean, I, mean, I, I just, I listen to that and I'm like, look, man, just say A.B. don't want to be at camp right now and he'll be there for week one. But, but, Damn. Do, but that's not okay, right, Marcus? Because this is his no. first year in a new offense with new coaches and a new quarterback who needs him desperately. Like, if that really is what's going on here, that's not, that's not okay, right? No, G, it's not okay. Look, here, here's the deal. 
A.B. gets a pass because of how successful he's been at the position. If this was any other player, he'll be on the trading block right now. If this was any other player in the NFL minus about four or five guys, they'll be on the trading block. And as a teammate, and look, you know how I am so opposed to players speaking out on what other players are doing. In this situation, it has to be frustrating to a lot of guys there, especially Derek Carr, who is not in a situation as a quarterback that's sure to be the guy down the road. If you're going to make a play at that, you need Antonio Brown at camp. But everybody's going to talk about how much they love A.B. and how much they they can't wait till he's back and they want this situation to get figured out from a football standpoint, man. And, and you and I, in our personal conversations, G, I tell you that this is guy's livelihood. And Antonio Brown does a lot for a lot of guys' livelihood when he's on the football field. And at some point, that's come, that is going to come in your thought process about if he's here, I'm a better player. So, hell yeah, it's frustrating to all of the players there. But I don't recommend they speak out publicly on it. <laughs> <laughs> the GM already did it for him. Swagoo, always a pleasure. Thank you, my friend. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.